Luke Tanaka with Julie Hall, coach win number 600. And it seems uh, very impressive, not only because it's number 600, but you look at the winning percentage and you look at the teams that you play on a yearly basis. How does it feel to get number 600? <laughs> Besides old, um, it doesn't, honestly, it does not mean anything. Before Kevin Jude told me that I was reaching this other milestone, it, it's, it's not, it's a number. And it's more memories and my coaching staffs that I've had and the players, like they are the ones that have gotten those 600 wins. And so I've been appreciative of all that. Let's get right into the weekend. You start with a really tough match against UW Stevens Point. You're down two sets and on uh, really two sets where they beat you pretty good. What was the message heading down two sets to none trying to come back against the top 15 team in the country? We just had to make changes. Um, our, our back row has been a revolving door this year, and it revolved again. So we had two other DSs that had started the season and got their way back on the court again this weekend. And then Hannah Davis, actually, we she has been playing everything in the front row for us, and we put her over on the right side to stop their outside hitter, and she was amazing. So that was a contributing factor. And then you come into the third and fourth sets, and they're both 26-24. How impressed with you with how your team played the big points? You know what? That, that's kind of been the MO of the team this year. They've been hanging really, really tough and strong with those close matches, and they haven't lost their their medal as far as um, just just the worth of competition. And when it's tight like that, they've come through nine times out of ten. It's those beginning sets that we have to start taking care of, that um, we just are getting off to slow starts, and we're not quite certain – why that's happening, but I was really proud of them, obviously. Saturday, a couple of quick three-set wins against UW-Stout and UW-Eau Claire. What uh, stood out to you on day two of the tournament? I think it's just our our team starting to believe and starting to gel, even though we have so many contributing factors on the team and the, and the lineup keeps rotating quite a bit. Uh, they're really buying into looking at each other and being more vocal on the court and just starting to believe a little bit more that you know they could they could be a pretty good team when they want to be. CCIW schedule starts on what, Wednesday, I believe, with Carthage uh, as the Lady Reds come to town. They were Final Four team last year, but lost a couple of key contributors, are now just 7-5 and five this season. But what do you expect from the Lady Reds? Leanne Ulmer is the ultimate coach, and it doesn't make any difference. what sh She brings it every year with the competitiveness and, and the kids that she recruits. And 7-5 and five is not a testament to, to what kind of team they are. She, they have a young group, but... Stephanie Kabakis on the on the right side is still just an amazing lefty hitter for them, and um, they're going. And then serving is really really tough, and that's been our nemesis this year. So we'll see. I mean, it's they're going to bring it. I'm sure. Another really tough tournament coming up over the weekend. You have one team and the others receiving votes, and two teams in the top 20: Trinity, Whitewater, and UW Lacrosse. Two teams you've already seen also this year. Uh, but does playing such a tough schedule, you think, really prepare you not only for the CCIW but also uh, beyond that? Well, we're hoping that's the <laughs> that's the reason we did it. Uh, it's been a tiring four weeks now, and and we're hoping that this is going to push our kids to step on the court and practice every day and and aim for something a little bit higher. So. It's going to be a really, really tough tournament this weekend, obviously, with a couple teams that we have not had success with, and we'll, we'll see what we can do. Julie Hall, go for SIG number 601 against Carthage on Wednesday, and then, of course, the tournament as well. Thanks for joining me. Thanks, Luke.